We took possession of the site in 2016, demolished the remainder of the building and then took forward the project to um, redevelop it uh, as a transformational project for Pont de The key driver was regeneration. Pont de is a valley town, a uh, lot of history in this part of Wales, a lot of industry as well and it was really about bringing this town centre back up into the 21st century. The driving factors for the council were to say, well, if private investors aren't going to come and take this forward, we'll regenerate the site ourselves, uh, provide new employments and uh, fantastic new facilities, and turn it into something that was really uh, an uplifting experience when you arrive in Pont de So sustainability was ultimately very important for the development. Our building physics team spent a lot of time energy modelling to optimise the building fabric, passive design. There's also a few more interesting sustainable credentials to the project. Building one uses a combined heat and power unit and also a hydrogen fuel cell CHP unit which we believe is one of the first in Wales uh, to provide heat and power to, to this building. It's, it's inherently sustainable the way this building is constructed. Laminated veneer lumber which comes in large sheets and large planks so you can cut curves quite easily out of it um, and that was used to basically produce the skeleton of building one and the curved shape throughout. Uh, it was our, our wish and our desire at the time to um, establish a Briam excellent building and an EPC rating of A and, um, and that was part of the critical success factors for the project set out at the very beginning. So I was very fortunate to um, get involved with Transport for Wales in leading this project which is the new HQ office and when I came along there were different agreements in place with Welsh Government. Uh, the design and the build was ongoing. Uh, why don't we work uh, together to see how we can make it work efficiently. Our building services team worked very hard within a very tight time scale with Transport for Wales to minimise you know, the impact on the existing services that have already been provided as part of the base build and building free, therefore minimising waste, reusing as much as possible. We don't then throw away a lot of the stuff that was in the original design and build. We vary the design to do what we want it to do so when we were given the building at, at the end, it was finished and refurbished to our specification. This project represents, I think, a huge leap in kind of regeneration, not just for Pont de but for kind of small town Wales as well. I think that's really important to note that this isn't in Cardiff, this isn't in Swansea, and this isn't in Newport. This is a relatively small population centre who have just got this amazing development to really kickstart the regeneration here. And I really hope that maybe the Swansea Valley and other valleys as well can look at this and think why can't we do that? A project of this complexity uh, with the design of the buildings uh, and the location in the town centre uh, bounded with a river with uh, three roads um, in a close to a conservation area with listed buildings they were challenges galore on the project but I think the fact that we've come out the other side and we've delivered a successful project um, just goes to prove that working together and working with uh, Hydrock and the rest of the project team um, has allowed us to navigate our way through those challenges and we, we are all still um, professional and have good working relationships at the end of it. We talk about it day in and day out. Every seminar I've been to for the last 15 years talks about collaboration. It just doesn't happen naturally. It just doesn't, it doesn't always happen. You can, you can put it down as many times as you want in a tender document. For me, this project was, was true collaboration and true teamwork. It really hit me actually, I came from the car park at the top of Pont de and I came down around the corner. And I've been here since it's been completed, but it hit me when I came around the corner and I saw the buildings and I just thought, whoa, like, what, almost what are they doing there? Sort of thing, but you walk around that corner and you think, wow, that is, that is incredible. You know, that is in the centre of Pont de that we are very proud as a council. This was the uh, most complex and probably the highest value project, uh, construction project we delivered. For the council to step in and acquire the building using Welsh Government funding at the time, I think was, uh, was a really brave decision and, and has proved to be very successful.